Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is how to add rain to an image using an image overlay or, or an, image, um, an image layer. And I can't wait to show you this technique. It's so cool because it completes the three types or the third type of layer that Luminar has. We have add new adjustment layer, we have a stamp layer, and now we have a new image layer. And that's what I'm gonna to use to add rain on top of one of our photos. Now, I want before we begin, I wanna take a moment and thank our partner. Fujifilm. Make images, share stories, and experience moments at the speed of life with Fujifilm. Thank you for staying at home with us. Great, and I want to welcome all of our friends from Japan, North Carolina, of course, here in Florida, Minnesota. Thank you guys so much for joining in. All right, now let's get started. So here I, I did download this image once again from Unsplash, and I love that, that site so I could use some of the images there either for inspiration or, like I'm using it here, to add extra um, tutorials for it. So here's the original, and this is what we're gonna do with it. All right, now this is kind of cool because I have a couple ways I wanna show you on how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Now, first thing we'll do is this. I wanna apply a look ahead of time to get the image the way I want it to be. Now I did download these looks off of our Skyla Marketplace. And the one I loved right here, I love Tokyo, and I loved New York. Um, earlier I did New York. Let's do Tokyo this time. All right, so here's Tokyo. And I'm going to do just a real a little enhancement. There it is. Look at that. Before and after. Now let's take it to the next level by adding rain. I'm going to come up here to the Layers Palette, or to the Layers Tools, and when I click the plus icon, I want to add new image layer. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to add another image on top of the image we already have. And the rain effect I used was number four. And there it is. Now notice it hides everything underneath or everything that's on that layer. So this is where layer blends come into play. Lighten and screen are the two that are do the most work. So let's use screen. Look at that, already it's looking great. Now, because we have it on its own layer, we have access to all the tools that Luminar has to offer. So let's come over here and under the light tool, uh, let's apply the contrast. Look at that. And I'm gonna enrich some of the blacks and bring out the white. Look at that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little dance between the two. The black is gonna make it to where the shriek the streaks are not as bad or not as much, and the white is gonna make them more, more pronounced. Look at that. And while I'm here, let's add a little structure. There we go. Now remember, on this layer, we're using an overlay or a blend mode of screen, so the effect isn't gonna be as great. So let's say if we were to switch this to let's say black and white, for example. Watch this. I convert it to black and white and nothing happens. Because again, the rain is what we're adding black and white to. Not the whole image, just the image that's on top of this image, that's why it's an image layer. So that has no effect whatsoever on the overall image. So I like how this looks before and after. Now, if I wanna add, let's say, um, a vignette to this, then I'd have to come back up here again, add a new adjustment layer. Now the new adjustment layer is gonna, come, is gonna have the effect 
on the overall image itself. So we'll come over here to vignette. Let's choose right there's my source. Look at that. Good, there it is. Let's add a little um, inner light. <coughs> Excuse me. Before and after. Boom. All right. So that's one way of doing it, using the um, image layer. Now I want to show you another way of doing it, which is going to allow you to create a look to have the, the LUT that we're using, which in this case was a Tokyo, and the overlay, which is, or the texture, which will be the rain. So let me show you how I did this one. So we like how this looks, right? Now I'm going to come back down here, start a chem. All right, we'll start with what we did earlier. I'm going to apply that look that I liked, which was Tokyo. Got it looking good. Let's bump up some of the hidden details a little more. I might as well increase the structure just a touch. All right, so I have the image that I love. I like how this looks. Now here's the cool part. If you notice, right over here, the color styles we have Tokyo already selected. Well now for the texture overlay, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna grab that same texture I did earlier and do the same concept. Here's lighten, here's screen. Let's use screen. Now the difference is I don't have all of the tools because right now if I were to add let's say the black and white tool to this, the rain and the image will turn black and white. If I sharpen um, the rain, the image will get sharpened too. So the image layer that we did earlier lets you have complete control over the two. Here, I'm not as concerned, but what I do want is to, look at that, I want to increase it more Ooh, I like it just like that. Now, when I come back up again and I apply a vignette, same concept. Here, here, and for the advance, let's bring inner light and let's feather that right there. Good, let's see what that does for us. Before, oh, after, good, but let's dial it back just a little bit. All right, there we have it. Now, here's the really cool part. So by using this, by, by creating it as a texture, using it as a tool, now I can come down here, save it as a new look, and this one, we I said we used Tokyo. So here's Tokyo. Let's say rain in Tokyo. Save. Now, once I did that, let's look over here under my user looks. We're going to find rain in Tokyo. Um, there we go, rain in New York, rain in Tokyo. So if I come here and I start fresh, if I click rain in Tokyo, boom. The image is, is as it, it's there. It's, it's, we have the look and we also have the LUTs and we also have the rain added. Now, when I right click on this and I'm going to show it in folder. So I'm going to look for this new look that we created. Well, here's what's really cool. Rain in Tokyo creates a containing folder. So, Here's the contents. There, there, right there, the preset is the look that we created. But under the resources, look at this. It's going to use the LUT right here. It's going to save the LUT that we used, which was Tokyo. And over here, it's using the rain um, image as a texture. It's saving that with us. So now, if I were to give 
let's say Danny, if I gave Danny one of these uh, looks, Danny could actually use it uh, and as is without having to download the rain effect, without having to download the LUTs. So that's one of the big advantages. We're right here. There we go. Got you there. All right, so that's one of the big advantages of creating a look is everything can be self-contained. All right? Now, let's see what Danny says. Um, D Danny's asking us if we're going to be at the Photo Plus Expo this year. Um, if they're having it, we'll have to decide. We'll have, we'll have to check that out. As of right now, I don't have it on our schedule yet until um, everyone checks it out to make sure it's safe for travel and so on. All right? Well, guys, there we have it. And again, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Now, in about 15 minutes, we'll be having our Zoom after hours um, coffee break to where all of you, it's happy hour, all of you are welcome to join us. In the information below, you'll see there's a Zoom meeting. You click on that, and then you could join in the, the, the after hour happy hour, and you'll be able to ask us any questions pertaining to Luminar photography or suggestions for the next show. And that'll be live on Zoom, interaction. You'll be sharing your um, your webcam if you want. And of course, we could talk just like this to where as, as if we're all around a huge coffee table just sharing ideas, all right? So guys, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you at the next coffee break.